You may think I'm crazy, and honestly, I think I'm crazy sometimes as well. But I just finished recording part two last night. I went to sleep, and I just woke up, and I'm getting straight into the third episode. And if need be, I will do the last and final episode as well. But here's why. I just want to get this game over with, okay? I want to get the heck out of this asylum. I don't know if we're going to end up dying or surviving or... I don't know, man. Okay, I've got my two water bottles here. just had coffee had to uh take that taste out of my mouth i don't know coffee is one of those things that doesn't really taste good but you just need it to get energy or who knows maybe it's just a placebo effect right <sighs> here we go welcome back to outlast part three all right guys <laughs> things are about to get real interesting on the last episode we got rid of richard and now we are supposed to be following the father and I just want to say right off the bat, this is probably not a good idea. Like, for, for whatever reason, the father freaks me out more than any, any other character in this game. Fuck, dude. Hey. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what? Well, that shit chases you? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Now I'm running away from Ghost? Okay, hold on. Oh. Open up. Okay. We've got this totally under control. Okay, what do we got here? <laughs> hold on, uh, the, the, the documents. God help me, I think I've, see, I've seen the wall rider. Yep. A wall rider. That's that's him, all right. He's actually not that bad. He doesn't look that scary. Just a, some sort of holographic sight with a sexy body. I mean, the dude had like a six pack, right? I don't think I'm going crazy. The dude had a ter ter terrific body. And we're going up. <laughs> Too early for this shit, man. Come on now. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that, um, oh no, I'm kind of glad that I have 10 batteries left. Oh, yo, is that the father? Yo, let me get that battery. No. All right. You know what? I'm going to swap this battery out. Let me get that one. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Wait, what? Oh. All right, guys, we've got this totally under control. We're getting our <laughs> hardcore parkour on. Okay. Can you dig it, sucker? <laughs> Gotta get my Booker T on. Gotta get all crazy with it. If you don't, you get scared. You gotta stay active. Gotta keep your brain cells active. Gotta talk to yourself. Oh, so we're on the other side of the fence now. Bro, it is pitch black outside. Yeah, this is the other side of the fence. Yo, what's up? You did? Yeah, you did. Okay, yep, this is locked. Maybe we gotta climb up here? Oh, okay. How about we unlock this? Can I unlock this? No, it's chained up. Let's go up through here, up through the fence. Bro, when I'm telling you, get out. When I'm telling you that I didn't think being outside was gonna be creepier than being inside, I I am telling you. I'd rather be inside the asylum right now, bro. Actually, I don't know. I don't know about that. It's a hard decision. Okay. Freaking camera's running out of battery. Okay, somebody died here, of course. 
Okay. Oh, another battery? No, that's just a radio. Okay, so I think we might actually have to jump through here. Uh, before I do that, let me let me check this side. Just to make sure. Sorry, dude. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh my god, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What is going on here? What's up with this fucking music right now? All right, let's change the battery. All right, one battery down. We've got nine left. Ah, uh, this is fantastic. Oh. Uh. Oh, hell no. Don't tell me that's this freaking... Bro, open up! Open up! Dude, that's a freaking... Why is this guy here? I know he's supposed to be the security guard, <laughs> but, but, but. Okay, hold on. What the frick is going on here, bro? Am I supposed to climb up here? I think I am. I'm not sure. Yeah, the big guy is downstairs somewhere. I heard his chains and... Believe it or not, I heard his breath. I want nothing to do with that guy. Okay, not right here, not right now. I just, just didn't, I need to finish this fucking game in peace, man. Ow. Okay, so this is definitely the right way. 100%, this is the right way. Oh my goodness! I told you that was him! Get in there, get in there, get in there right now, sir! Ooh! Ooh! Find Father Martin inside the what? I couldn't even read that, bro! Why do I feel like this dude is playing the friend card and he's actually a freaking murdering bastard? Whoa, what's up with this? Okay, hold on. What the freaking crap is this, bro? Do not drink the water. So much blood in the water, I can smell it. Like putting a penny in your mouth when you were a kid. The whisper. The whispers are making more sense. I'm looking for static. It's like an itch. Yeah, do not drink the water. I mean, who the frick would drink that water? Are you dumb? Trying to make sure there's nothing Ooh, hi. Nothing hidden here. I know a lot of you have been telling me to that's an entrance right there, possibly. A lot of you have been telling me to play um Outlast 2. But I will have you know that I did play Outlast 2 and it's on the channel, guys. Okay, the full game. It's freaky as hell. I just never finished this one, so that's why I'm here. Right, it's about that time, boys. The thing is, this is the thing here, okay? This is the thing. Why the frick would you go back inside a building when you know goddamn well you went inside one earlier and you got stuck there and you almost died? Why would you go back inside? You saw the wall rider, didn't you? You're beginning to understand, but not yet. Even Abraham had to cast his eyes to the ground. But soon, soon, this way, revelation is at hand. Use the upper floors to reach Father Martin. Bro. I'll have that battery. Thank you very much. I'm surprised they haven't used uh, some of these dead bodies to like freak me out or something. 
there's a body over there. That's for sure. Oh, hey, what's up, player? Oh, he's not there anymore. <laughs> really? Really? Okay. You're going to play that card? You're really going to play that card on me? Yep, there he is. Who is that? Okay, this game is setting me up for failure right now. I don't I don't appreciate this. Bro, isn't this the laundry room? Weren't we here before? Bro, we were here before. Oh, but this is a different one. Ah, it's just very it's literally like identical. Hey, listen up, bro. Oh, no, 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 no. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Yo, 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 yo. Chill, 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 chill. Listen, man. It's literally 9 o'clock in the morning. I don't got time for this nonsense. All right, here we go. One ball's in. Yo, can you open up the gate for me? Uh, bro, tell me that's not freaky, dude. Oh, we got a battery right here. Thank you. Jesus Christ. All right, we're going upstairs. Downstairs? Nope. Going upstairs. That's where I'm going. Okay, maybe not. All right, let's try that again. Come on, come on, come on. You're a journalist. Doesn't mean you cannot jump, damn it. Father Martin, I command you to open up. Okay, that's locked. That's fantastic. How about this? I gotta change the freaking batteries pretty soon. Nearly here. You can cross from the upper floors. Bro, why don't you just open up the door for me? Like, what the freaking heck? <clears throat> Alright, man. I don't like this. It's so dark in here, not even my night vision helps me. What the frick is this? Oh my hell no. Hello? Okay, this is the this is the moment where you start doing something. I'm gonna look down at my feet. Oh shh. Bro, why is this game so freaking dark? Is it my camera or something? Who changed the battery? Oh, it was my freaking camera. The battery was bad. I'm already lost. I don't even know where to go at this point. <laughs> I don't know where to go. What happened here? Pray for revelation. I'm opening up this door. Oh! All right. Oh my hi. All right, dude, what the frick, man? I'll leave you alone here. You can stay there with that dead body of yours. All right, I don't even know. I, I, I didn't even know how to pick up a fuse. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't even come across anything that says I have to pick up a fuse. I guess I'm an overachiever. I'm ahead of the... Oh, he dumb. Fight the wall rider. Nah, I'm good. This 
the other fuse. Okay, so we've got two fuses. I'm never going to come back here again. So, do me a favor. Drop that. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Oh my god, he's fucking coming. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Bro, I literally went over there and got the fuses beforehand. How? <laughs> okay, how do I get out of here? There's no way out of here. Um, <laughs> what the heck? All right, there is no way out of here. What? Maybe I got to move this back now. So I've got three shoots. I think it was three fuses for the laundry. Again, I have no idea. Bro, what the freaking crap? He's over there. Now I can't even freaking use that door to hide. Okay, okay, you got me. You got me, buddy. You got me, bro. You got me. Okay, good, good. You got me, bro. Okay, bro, stop. Just stop. I literally don't want to be down here, honestly. I mean, I feel like I'm just backtracking. I came from downstairs. Oh, hi. Okay. Project Paperclip. Joint Intelligence. Nazi War Crime Disclosure Act A. The first paperclip. Provides an, uh, a means of obtaining services of foreign specialists for specific assignments within the technical service of the Department of Army, Navy, and Air Force. That B, Project 63 is primarily a denial program. Utilization is a desirable feature. The aim of this program is to secure employment in the United States with certain permanent German and Australian specialists, thus denying their services to the potential enemy. Hey, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry. You stabbed me. Maybe if I go down through here. Um, okay, what the frick is going on? 
Laundry room. Maybe in the chute. Maybe there's a... <gasps> oh my god. There we go. Oh, what the fuck? And, uh, what is it? Oh, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? where I came from oh come on man we're friends right oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> stupid can't jump here now can ya let me get this damn key get the heck out of here Okay, we can make this jump. Yes, we can. Follow the blood. New objective. Follow the blood. <laughs> sure. Why wouldn't I follow the freaking blood? I know the blood is the other way. I just never know if you can find any extra things here. Okay, here we go. Wait, why the fuck? Wait, what? What am I? What? what the hell? I landed on top of that guy. Oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna go back over here. Perhaps I didn't follow the blood properly. <laughs> Follow the blood. I have to do this. Yeah. Oh. Father Martin! <laughs> I'm here! When I. Shit, that's not the what the whatever it's called. The wall rider. Come on, Mr. Wall Rider. You wanna come out and play? I don't think I'm scared of you. I ain't scared of you. Gotta be up through there, there's no way. Okay. Bro, come on, dude. How do I get out of here now? I've had it with this place. Everything is boarded up, like... What the frick? Okay. And I cannot jump. That's just great. Nobody told me the frickin' floors are gonna be rotten. This has gotta be the way. This is no oh, there it is. Yeah, I knew it. I'm smart. I ain't dumb. I'm not that dumb. Right, so this is where we gotta go. You have got to be freaking kidding me right now. Okay, hold on. Here we go. X to hide. Okay. Oh, let me read that document. Hold on. 
All right, you promised a more rose garden. What does that say? How can I not remember where the cuts are coming from? So this is excerpt from the diary of Shirley Pierce. My own massive mental hospital patient, 1952-1964. How can I not remember the cuts are, well, where the cuts are coming from? They hurt so deeply, even, the days, even days later. Dr. Newhouse tells me that it's my fault. I'm subconsciously resisting the hypnotherapy. But I want so much to get better. I do not know. I don't know how I could be doing this to myself. Dr. Newhouse says it's another condition of my bedroom inspired hysteria. Poor Bruce. I make him suffer so. I've tried sub subtly uh, to ask Mrs. Jackson if she'd had similar issues with her husband, but she is uh, she is loath to talk about it. Her husband, too, has found comfort in a younger woman. I know the doctors only mean well, and with the help of the government uh, who've joined the staff, I am in the very best hands possible. I should be uh, I should just take my pills and sleep and hope for more pleasant dreams tonight. <laughs> Sure, why the frick not, right? Why would you? Why not? Okay, now this door doesn't even open. What is. Father Martin, what is the freaking point of this stupid. Okay, Father Martin, what what is going on here? Okay, what is going on here? Where am I? Oh, oh, hell no. Okay, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Oh dear. I recognize the handwriting. Father Martin killed the man here. Are the lies he's talking about all the files missing from the boxes? The facts, the records, they look like government agency materials, at least 30 years old, probably older. I started thinking. MK Ultra CIA mind control, the buzzing won't stop. And there, Father Martin. Okay, I see the blood uh, arrows and all that shenanigans there. I see it, I see it. I'm going. I'm headed that way. Brothers. It's the twins, bro. God, bro. Oh my goodness. I'm not even going to run right now. <laughs> I'm not going to run. You really have to close the door that fucking hard? Oh my goodness. Dude, what the freaking hell? say I'm not gonna make that jump oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god no oh my god oh my god 
Oh, that's it. It's over. It's over. It's over. Like, what, what do I do? No, no. Everything that's been documented. Gone. It's all done. 